Hello everyone and welcome back to our channel. In today's video, we will be exploring the combo of three powerful functions in Excel that is filter, sort and take. By combining these functions, you can unlock a whole new level of data analysis and manipulation. Whether you are a data enthusiast, a business professional or a student, understanding how to use filter, sort and take function together can help you organize, analyze and extract valuable insight from your data. So let's dive right in and see how these functions work harmoniously. Don't forget to subscribe now how and press the bell icon for more videos. So this is the data of the sales from the different zones and you know that in previous video we have applied the filter function. So for this purpose I will write equal and then write filter, bracket start, select the array that is the data in this table, then comma and now I have to select the zones. So I select this column, after this I write equal and now because I want to get the result about the sales from the Lahore zone, so I will write Lahore in the inverted commas and then close this bracket and press enter. When I press enter you can see that it give me all the record from the Lahore zone. If I want to get only the first three results, so I will copy this formula of the filter and now I will go over here and write equal take bracket start paste the filter function then comma and write 2 to get the first two results and then press enter so you can see that it gives me the first two records from the Lahore zone so if I write 3 you can see that I get the first three records from the Lahore zone now my next question is I want to get the top three performer from all these employees so I can get this by using the sort and take function together. How we can do this? Let's see it. To sort it on the basis of the sale, I will write equal, sort, bracket start, select the array, then comma. I have to specify the sort index. So because I am sorting it on the basis of the sales 2023, that is the fourth column. So I will write four, then comma. And now I have to specify the sort order and because I want to specify it in the descending order, so I will write minus 1, then close this bracket and press enter. So our data has been sorted on the basis of the sales 2023. Now I want to get only the top 3 performer. Therefore, I will first copy this formula of the sort. Now I will go to this cell under the employee ID and here I will write equal take bracket start and paste the sort formula that I have copied and then comma and because I want the top three performer so I will write three close this bracket and press enter. So you get the top three performer from the whole sales data. We can also create a position button over here by using the drop down function. For this purpose I will select this cell go to the data tab and under the data tab go to the data validation. Here select the list and then specify the value as 1, 2, 3, 4, 5 and then press apply. So now you get the drop down button. After doing this, the next thing is to change this formula. First I have written this 2 because I need the top 2 performer. Now instead of writing 2 or any number, I will write the address of this cell. So I will write this and then press enter. So now you can see that if I press 2, it gives me the 2 record. If I press 3, it gives me the top 3 performer. So I can change this number from this drop down button and get the result I want. In conclusion, the combination of the sort, filter and take function in Excel empowers you to efficiently analyze and manipulate your data. By filtering data based on specific criteria with the filter function, sorting it in a desired order with the sort function and extracting a specified number of items using the take function. You can gain valuable insight and make informed decision based on your data. These functions provide you with the flexibility and control to customize your data analysis process to suit your need. So go ahead, unleash the power of filter, sort and take function in Excel and elevate your data analysis game. Thank you for watching our video today. 
We hope you found this tutorial on the combined use of filter sort and take function useful. If you enjoyed this video, give it a thumbs up and don't forget to subscribe to our channel for more Excel tutorials and useful content. If you have any question or suggestion for future videos, please leave them in the comments below. Stay tuned for more exciting content and we will see you in the next video. Happy Excelling!